Hello everyone, I know it's been some time. I had a request from Dan, he wanted to see one of these babies working. This is a 3CX 1500A7. I'm using a X Force 200 to drive into it. Five thousand watt bird slug. Yeah, I have it pre-tuned already. Floating right around forty-two hundred play volts. One point two amp transformer. Keen 1000, uh, the old peg in a 5000 watt slug for all you haters out there. Uh, audio, uh, audio, uh, audio. Once again, that's a 5000 watt slug. These particular boxes, uh, you should tune to a dead key first. After you tune it for a dead key, Take the load and tune it for uh, peak forward. Uh, a lot of guys do it differently. That's the way I normally recommend. Seems to be working a lot better uh, that way. Still on the key. Working one, two, three, four, one, 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 one. Play bolts. Drop right around to four thousand. One, 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 one. I'm only driving with about 40, 50 watts of that key. If I put the 80 watts of that key, it'll probably keep right around two thousand and still peg the uh, five thousand. Uh, the 1234, 111111, still on the key, have an unkey. Input, input is a uh, input SWR. You take an SWR meter between your driver and the amplifier and tune it to the minimum SWR that you can. Also, uh, for you guys out there that have been using the static meters, my recommendation to you is don't. They seem not to work. Uh, a lot of guys are telling me they can't get over 4,000 watts on any kind of amplifier they use. For some reason, there's something holding them back. Um, I use the industry standard, which is Berg. Um, if you're gonna spend good money on an amplifier, then spend good money on the uh, good meter. Get yourself a Berg 43, Berg 43P. Um, that would show you some forward. Still on the key. You see that? Over a minute. It's still working fine. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Still on the key. That's it. 73s. Bye-bye.